Is Boruto going to die again? Ever since around the start of the manga, it was always told to us and implied to us that Boruto will have a dark and twisted future. After fighting Momoshiki, he tells this to us that Boruto will have everything taken away from him and it's a fate that he can't change. Fast forward a little bit and he can't be looked at as just Boruto. He has Momoshiki's soul inside of him and through karma, Momoshiki can make Boruto change face under certain circumstances. Fast forward a little more and Boruto actually does die to the hands of Kawaki due to Momoshiki making him change face, wrecking half and even almost killed his own father in the process. But even after that, he survived by Momoshiki through karma, but he still hasn't lost everything that Momoshiki told him his fate would be. Shortly after, we do see Momoshiki's prophecy come into play and Boruto and Kawaki's lives switch, making Boruto a targeted outsider and making Kawaki Naruto's son. However, Boruto is still chugging along, carrying his master's legacy and wishes, but even still, even throughout the short number of chapters we have in Tubu Vortex, there's still this feeling that Boruto might die again and that his ending won't be a happy one. So today, I wanted to analyze what we have in favor of Boruto dying again and if it's really the direction that the story is going to take. Before we get started, please just take a second to like the video, comment on some video ideas I can cover in the future, and please subscribe because YouTube tells me over 88% of you guys aren't subscribed, so please subscribe and post all these zones so you don't miss when I upload. First, I wanted to briefly talk about why Boruto died the first time and how or why it could play into why he might die again. Due to Momoshiki, Boruto is looked at as a threat amongst everyone, even to the world. The first time Momoshiki changed face in Boruto's body, it was in favor of Boruto and Team 7 saving their life from Boro, although that wasn't his intention. However, the second time he swapped with Boruto, he took out Sasuke's running gun, leaving Sasuke without a massive source of his power. He almost took Kawaki for himself so that he could feed him to the Tentos later, which would have been bad for everyone involved because Sasuke can't use his running gun to chase them, and if Kawaki were to get fed, it would mean bad things for Earth. But due to Kawaki's bravery and almost self-sacrifice, he managed to trick Momoshiki into absorbing the flames, making Boruto start to gain consciousness. The third time Momoshiki swapped with Boruto was the worst time by far. He was stronger than ever and like I said earlier, he almost killed Naruto but Kawaki having regained his karma now has the strength to go toe to toe with Momoshiki and eventually ended up killing Boruto to make sure this never happened again. Boruto gets revived through karma and even says he thinks he can control Momoshiki's power better now but that wouldn't be the last time we see Momoshiki change face with Boruto. The fourth and final time we see Momoshiki change face, he saved Kawaki from the predicament he was in which in turn set up for omnipotence to happen, taking everything away from Boruto and trying to make him despair in the process. So yeah, Momoshiki is a threat and with Boruto's growing strength, things would only seem to get worse as they have no concrete way of making sure Momoshiki won't change face with Boruto at the moment. But once we get to Tubu Vortex, we haven't seen Momoshiki not even once, which seems a little off because we saw him a lot throughout the end of part 1. He even said in part 1 that he wanted to make Boruto despair so that he gives up on living and his consciousness and soul would go into a dark corner never to return to the light, so it would make sense if we were to see Momoshiki in the first 7 chapters trying to gaslight Boruto and still doing what he can to fulfill his goal. But since we haven't seen him, that makes us as fans wonder if he's even a problem for Boruto to handle anymore, if Boruto can stop Momoshiki from changing face and wrecking havoc. Now whether he does have it figured out or not, I think Momoshiki won't be a problem for Boruto by the end of the series, or at the very least, he would have some type of control over Momoshiki, so I don't think Momoshiki is going to be a reason that Boruto might die in the future. So let's talk about some of the reasons and implications that Boruto might die that has everyone talking. So far in Tubu Vortex, we've gotten some hints but not many as we only have 7 chapters out right now, so we'll have to wait and see how things go from here of course. But ever since chapter 3 when Boruto and Kawaki came face to face, the feeling of Boruto dying again by the end of the series has felt all too real. Kawaki starts smack talking Boruto saying that he looks like an Uchiha adoptee due to his outfit, with Boruto responding that Kawaki's trash talk hasn't changed but he's glad Himawari is doing fine. Kawaki asks Boruto why he's in the village and tells him that if he's ready to die then Kawaki can help him with that right here and now. Boruto then responds and tells Kawaki that dying in Konoha doesn't sound bad but he can't do that today and tells Kawaki to stay out of his way. Boruto's response here is definitely questionable to say the least. When I first read the chapter I didn't think too much of it and just thought it was a sarcastic response from Boruto as Boruto has gotten more sarcastic over the years which we see in how he was speaking to Code. However, Boruto made another comment about him not being able to die yet that makes me think Boruto actually does plan to die again. When Boruto and Miski are fighting, Boruto tells Miski that he's destroying the environment due to their battle, but Miski says it's Boruto's fault this is happening and asks Boruto if he can die for the sake of this world. Boruto responds saying that he may be to blame for sure but he can't die yet as he has a world of things to do and he has no time to play around. 
down. This is the second time Boruto spawned in that same way I was talking about earlier. It's kinda hard now to take this as sarcasm since both times his death has gotten mentioned, he keeps saying not yet instead of not at all which would make sense if he didn't plan to die. So is Boruto planning to die? That's a little hard to say, but assuming Boruto does plan to die, let's take a look at some possibilities and how that would happen or how it would make sense. When Boruto makes that comment to Miski, he does seem to be blaming himself for a lot of bad things that has happened. Even when he was talking to Sarada in chapter 6 about Sasuke, he tells Sarada that it's his fault that Sasuke got absorbed by a claw grime. It's possible that Boruto just sees himself as a magnet for trouble and destruction, so when he's done fixing what he can, he'll die for the sake of the world. We know Boruto doesn't plan to live a happy life at the very least. When Boruto is filling Shikamaru in about everything he needs to know, Shikamaru tells Boruto that if he was in his shoes, he would be focusing on saving Naruto and then killing Kawaki. Boruto responds saying Kawaki may want to kill him, but he's different. He just wants to slug Kawaki and then make up as brothers, that's all. Shikamaru then tells Boruto that he understands where he's coming from, but if he really has no intention of killing Kawaki, then Boruto will have to understand that he'll need to continue taking false blame regarding Naruto. He says seeing as how omnipotence affects lies with Kawaki, Shikamaru would like to avoid making him feel cornered again, which means he can't expose what Kawaki did to the public just yet. Shikamaru then tells Boruto that he'll need to stay a fugitive, and when he asks if Boruto is okay with that, Boruto responds saying that it's fine and that he didn't expect otherwise. From this conversation alone, it's clear that Boruto is willing to take on the burden of having everyone hate him and being a target. He's prepared for the worst and has accepted the reality of the situation. He doesn't expect things to go back to the way they were and he doesn't even expect to get his own life back. So Boruto dying after everything is done kinda makes more sense knowing this fact. Since Boruto has no intention of getting back everything that was his, why would it matter if he dies when everything is done and saved? Now to answer the question of if I think Boruto is going to die or not, I would say yeah but not only for the reasons that I listed up until this point. They do play a factor of course but the main reason I believe Boruto will die again is because of something I heard from Naruto explain about the manga Samurai 8 that Kishimoto created. Now I haven't read it but according to what I've heard about the manga, there's a lot of parallels between Boruto and Samurai 8 in terms of the story and in Samurai 8, the main character Hachimaru actually dies by the end of the manga. Once he dies, he transcends to the fourth dimension and can exist in the world without the need of a physical body. The princess Anne in that story who can be switched out for Sarada, one of the only members of her clan left which is the greatest clan to come out from the least village and after Hachimaru dies, Anne offers up her prayers and is able to alter her body and after the sacrifice and prayers, the result of the story was a pretty sweet ending. Even other parallels like the god in the Samurai 8 universe was said to create the world of Samurai 8 and transcended beyond life and death, much like Shibai is implied to have created the Naruto universe and was stated to transcend beyond life and death to where he didn't need a physical body to exist. This is definitely something that can see happening in the story of Boruto. Hachimaru was a samurai with a fate beyond even his own life and what he could even imagine, much like Boruto who bears the burden of the world on his shoulders. When Boruto was getting pressed by the Shinju, the toad on his neck was pleading with Boruto to get away and said that if Boruto died, it would all be for nothing. Then when Boruto gets back to Earth, Kashi and Koji questions his actions and asks if he's trying to destroy the planet by being rash. At only the young age of 15, Boruto already has a bigger fate than many can imagine, so Boruto having a bigger role to play in the future wouldn't be a surprise to me in the slightest. Although it's heartbreaking to think that Boruto's life won't go back to normal or have a happy ending, I do think it's fitting for what Boruto wanted to become anyway. Ever since chapter 10 of the manga, we've known that Boruto strives to be a strong ninja like Sasuke, one that is able to support and protect the Hokage from the shadows. He might not have known what he meant when he first said it, but going through adversity taught him exactly what being like Sasuke and the Shadow Hokage really means. He's in a position where everything he does is like a sacrifice to himself, but it's all for the greater good of the village and world. Like Sasuke, he expects nothing else but to be hated by everyone, but also protect everyone from threats to come, and it's the cards that he was dealt in his life. Boruto wants to be like Sasuke because of how noble and free the job at hand is. Sasuke doesn't take orders from anyone and just sticks to what he feels he was meant to do, which which is what Boruto strives to be. If what Boruto wants to be is a sacrifice for peace and to be free, then him possibly sacrificing his life, transcending life and death with the ability to exist without the need of a physical body, is freeing him from the samsaric cycle that the Naruto world is under, and having the ability to protect it from an entire different dimension might ultimately be what fits Boruto's end the best. Not only will he be able to protect the Hokage and the Leaf Village, but possibly the world from a place where no one can reach him. Boruto will embody his dream in what it meant to be a Shadow Hokage, sacrificing his life and transcending in the process with an end that's not so sweet. 